I'm Natronics, and you're watching Redline, your source for adventure stories throughout the verse. Today's segment throws us into the fray as we join up with one of the verse's most veteran friendly groups, Black Widow Company, a band of dedicated private military contractors hell bent on brotherhood, teamwork, and giving their enemies a good old fashioned ass kicking. If you're on their good side, they'll be there for you till the end. But if you're not, watch out because these guys know how to bring the heat. Join me as I fall into the ranks of these dedicated warriors and dodge a few bullets with them too. Before embarking, I linked up with the newest member of the Red Line team, and a familiar face for many of our viewers, Ava Huxley, <laughs> former combat vet turned actress, who basically- By the way, this is his wife. herself in the Overclocked series. Yeah, this is actually his wife. How's it hanging, folks? I want to give a special shout out to my friends over at Gay Catering for totally not paying for this makeup with gray market extortion funds. <laughs> yes, Gay Catering, your source for fresh fruits and delicious snacks delivered anywhere in Stanton. <laughs> And by snacks, he means guns and shit. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> BWC was kind enough to invite us along for one of their major training events, where I was able to touch base with Firefly, one of their leaders, to find out more about their adventures. So good. What can you tell me about today's training? Why is it important? So today's training event is VIP recovery slash elimination uh, in the form of a force on force direct action engagement. And it's important because we are evaluating leadership prospects by targeting the area that they identified as their weakest leadership strength during a self-assessment. Is there a particular branch of military BWC prefers to recruit from? Uh, we prefer to recruit from Planetary Coast Guard Services. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> excuse me. Sorry, go ahead. I thought he said face training at first, and then I had this wonderful idea for a sketch. So, Natronics, if you are actually listening and you're watching, because I know sometimes you do, there should be some type of like uh, contest that you're doing like with FOIP on an episode where people are like doing strange shit with their face, like like some type of face training, right? Like you can work it in as a sketch, like some type of comedy where like people are literally like doing the craziest shit on FOIP. Somehow, I know you can do it. I just feel like that would be a good episode. Like FOIP shenanigans are always hilarious. The battles were divided into two hemispheres. One day, one night. While I embedded with the night team, Ava scoured the desert in search of the day. God, that had some Star Wars vibes on that shit. This is great. This is so good. Pretty dead out here. <sighs> Does anybody know who the hell the enemy is? Does anyone know? It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get to the chopper. Where the hell we are? So, what's the plan here? Give him the old blanket spank? I have three children with four different women. <laughs> Sorry. Is that a code for. Wait, wait, what? What? <laughs> what? Something? I have trouble relating to others in meaningful and productive ways. <laughs> How many crayons do you eat a day? <laughs> the answer is yes. <sighs> the script is like dead on. The script is so funny. <laughs> Come here! Are those real bullets? Hell yeah, they are. Get some! <laughs> I thought this was a training exercise. <laughs> I will destroy you into the dust. Hope the Zimperum works. Hey Eva, how's things on the sunny side? Looks like a tank stalled out or something. I'm gonna check it out.
Hello? Anyone home? Yeah, come on in. Uh -oh. Tank stall out or something? No. I'm just scared shitless. <laughs> Do you like movies about gladiators? <laughs> I guess. Have you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> Must be a gas leak in here. Oh my god, it's full of stars. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got a whole playlist on the DG360, Portis. Like all different types of Star Citizen Machinima, dude. It was awesome. Ava, come in. Ava. I'll show you after this. Yeah, what's up? You sound stressed. I think everyone's dead. No shit? No, there's shit too. <laughs> My pants, I think. You still got your nomad, right? Yeah. I'm bugging out the, the top of the hour in Morville. <laughs> Dude, I cannot breathe. Later that evening, as I tried oh. to drown the memories of battle with bottom shell oh. foods, I found myself in awe of these veterans and their continued dedication to <laughs> justice outside the ranks of the so military. Good. As a combat veteran myself, I felt strangely insecure. My trembling hands and the dampness in my pants bit a reminder that I no longer had that sort of gumption. As I found my way to the bottom of another strong one and wallowed in self-pity, these are so good. At least I felt safe knowing that companies like BWC were out there, blowing shit up one day at a time. Awesome, bravo! <laughs> that concludes this episode of Red Line. If you've got something adventurous to share, reach out via the Hubnet link below, and you just might see it here. Until next time, this is Natron. Awesome. Over and out. Awesome. Like really. Listen. He's doing God's work, man. This guy is so good at what he does. And, you know, he was making these overclocked uh, episodes that took him weeks, months of work. And now he switched over and he's doing red line and he can pump these out. And, man, are they so good. Eight minutes. And you know what's sad? Only 3,900 views, man. Like, what is going on? This guy should be like Shame. racking it up with like tens Shame. of thousands of views with this from the star citizen community. I, I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on or why this guy does not have many more people. We we started following him when he had 700 subscribers. Our personal community went in there and gave him a couple thousand subscribers. Uh, I'll put the link when I put this highlight out to YouTube. Go help him out. Like his stuff because, man, it's so much better than the regurgitated news that gets 30,000, 40,000 views. It's so much better than the big YouTubers like Ali and uh, no offense against Ali and, and uh, who's the other dude that's got like millions of level cap gaming. No offense against those guys. I mean, like they make great shit, but like this by far is so much more entertaining than what they're putting out right now by like a, a thousand that that you know Natronic should have tens of thousands of subscribers if not hundreds of thousands of subscri subscribers for this so go over there uh like the content 
And I'm going to show you on my page here. This is what we do on the on DG360. We, we our community we find really cool stuff to watch. Not just Star Citizen. Uh, we got some DCS stuff. But like if you go down here, I've got playlists. You can go check out the channel. We're always trying to find really cool stuff for you guys. Um, our Discord link. Uh, I'll put it down in the highlight uh, or in the. Um, description section go to it and uh, there's a section called look at this dg post things that you watch and uh, we watch it with you on the morning show which we're gonna have tomorrow our 100th episode is tomorrow uh very excited about that got some amazon gift cards to give away tomorrow but you can see here dcs playlist uh dg reacts news uh reviews commentary star citizen uh inside star citizen review which we just had before this after party which is awesome and uh, Star Citizen Machinima. So those are our five main playlists right now. And uh, we're doing great. And by the way, I just revamped the entire page. So now that you guys um, who are followers or people who push the join button, you guys get access first to all the newest episodes of DG in the Morning and the highlights uh, before they even hit the general uh, public. So <clears throat> we're really doing a lot of work here on the channel. Um, uh, shout out to Anarchy and Jiru and those that helped me behind the scenes. Uh, but yeah, the playlist, the, the Star Citizen Machinima playlist, uh, which you can find overclocked in all the episodes, uh, the R Red Line series that's here. Thanks, Forgotten. Thank you for the subscription, buddy. But we're, we're keeping track of all this stuff for you guys. So, you know, I want to be a one-stop shop for everybody that loves Star Citizen, DCS, like VR, like, you know, different types of games, new games, shit. Just like in general, like a gaming and news kind of like oriented kind of channel. Just like chill out, have a good time. I'm focusing on fun and really uh, going off of things that interest you guys. It's community inspired content and, uh, you guys are really finding some really cool things to watch. And that's how we found, um, Natronics. That's how we found them. Nobody else would have the, the YouTube algorithm would not have found Natronics. It was you guys that did. So I, I literally think that DG360 should be the, the new YouTube algorithm. I think I'm going to label the channel like DG360, the new YouTube algorithm 